I am going to guide you on how to make parental controls on mobile. Parental controls are software and tools that allow parents to set controls on their children's internet use. They are a great way of helping prevent children from accessing unsuitable content online. It goes without saying that children like digital gadgets. Using digital gadgets does not ensure that you will gain 100% of the benefits, there are several drawbacks, particularly for children. Parental controls are a way of monitoring and restricting children's interaction with mobile applications and websites. Nowadays, it is simple to create mobile parental control, there are several parental control applications accessible on Google Play. Norton Family, Kaspersky Safe Kids, Custodio, Our Pact, Eset Parental Control for Android, Net Nanny, Google's Family Link, and Screen Time are a few examples. Many applications come with parental control options by default. Let's take a look at the parental controls for Android mobile users. Parental controls can be set up in the Play Store, YouTube, Google, and by utilizing parental control software. This setup is applicable to Android and iOS users. Google Play Store How can parents set up parental control on Google Play Store? Parents can set up parental controls on the Play Store to prevent their children from downloading and installing inappropriate apps on their Android phone. You can also learn how to set parental controls on Google for your kids. Follow the step-by-step -step guide to enable parental controls on the Play Store. Step 1. Open Google Play Store on your child's Android phone. Step 2. Head to the Settings menu by tapping the three-line icon on the top left corner of the screen. Step 3. Under the User Controls heading, you will find the Parental Controls option. Tap to open it. Step 4. By default, Parental Controls are off. Toggle it on to set them up. Step 5. As you toggle it on, a new window will appear on your screen, asking you to create Content PIN. You need to enter a 4-digit PIN. This PIN will be used to change settings for Parental Controls. Enter the PIN and then tap OK. You need to confirm the PIN by entering it again. Now, you need to tap Apps and Games on the screen. Then, choose App Ratings for certain age levels. And that's all you have to make the Google Play Store to parental control. YouTube What is the best way to set up parental controls on YouTube? Here are three simple steps to follow. YouTube is another platform where we can find many children spending most of their time. YouTube have their own setting to make it parental control. The steps are as below. Step 1. Sign into YouTube. Step 2. Select Restricted Mode from the drop-down menu next to your profile photo in the upper right corner of the screen. Step 3. Restricted Mode will then appear in a drop-down menu. Toggle the Restricted Mode button in your iOS profile settings. The option is under Settings, General for Android users. YouTube Kids is now accessible on both Apple's iOS and Google's Android operating systems. It is screened for children and has parental controls activated. Music, education, and other areas are the emphasis of YouTube Kids programming. Google. We have set up YouTube to parental control. Now, let's look at how to set up parental control in parental control apps. Parental control app. To protect their children from online threats, parents might utilize a parental control app. One of the most effective methods to monitor and control what your children do and view on the internet is to use a parental control system. There are other parental controls applications on the market, but Secure Teen is our favorite since it is considered the most advanced parental control solution for keeping your kids safe online. To use Secure Teen as a parental control app, follow the steps. Step 1. First, you need to open the Play Store to download the Secure Teen app. Step 2. Sign up for the service by choosing the best pricing plan that suits your needs. Step 3. Once downloaded, you can install it on your child's Android phone by getting hold of it. 
After installation, you need to log into your secure teen control panel and start controlling your child's device usage and monitor all their cell phone activities such as phone calls, text messages, location, web browsing, social media accounts, etc. Google Setting up parental control in Google is a must to prevent our kids from visiting unnecessary websites that are available online. In order to set up safe search, follow the steps. Step 1. Log into your Google account. Step 2. Click on the main menu button in the top right-hand corner with three vertical dots. Step 3. Once the drop-down menu appears, select Settings. Step 4. Select the section, called People. Step 5. Select Add Person and select an image and a name for the new user. While creating this person, put a check in the checkbox next to control and view the websites this person visits from active user's email address. Step 6. Next, click on Add and a new Chrome window will open. Step 7. Once the profile for your child is created, you'll want to select Supervised Users Dashboard and click on My Child. Step 8. Here you can add parental control settings in the Permissions section and choose to lock Safe Search. And it's done. Let's take a look at the parental controls for iOS mobile users. There are six parental controls that will be explained. 1. Set content and privacy restriction. 2. Prevent iTunes and App Store purchases. 3. Allow built-in apps and features. 4. Prevent explicit content and content ratings. 5. Prevent web search. 6. Restrict Siri web search. How do we set content and privacy restriction? 1. Go to Settings and tap Screen Time. 2. Tap Continue, then choose This is my device or This is my child's device. 3. Tap Content and Privacy Restrictions. If asked, enter your passcode, then turn on Content and Privacy. Make sure to choose a passcode that's different from the passcode that you use to unlock your device. To change or turn off the passcode on your child's device, tap Settings, Screen Time, your child's name. Then tap Change Screen Time Passcode or Turn Off Screen Time Passcode and authenticate the change with Face ID, Touch ID, or your device passcode. That's all. How do we set iTunes and App Stores from making any purchase? 1. Go to Settings and tap Screen Time. 2. Tap Content and Privacy Restrictions. If asked, enter your passcode. 3. Tap iTunes and App Store for purchases. 4. Choose a setting and set to Don't Allow. And it is done. How to restrict the use of built-in apps and features. You can restrict the use of built-in apps or features. If you turn off an app or feature, the app or feature won't be deleted, it's just temporarily hidden from your home screen. For example, if you turn off Mail, the Mail app won't appear on your home screen until you turn it back on. To change your allowed apps. 1. Go to Settings and tap Screen Time. 2. Tap Content and Privacy Restrictions. 3. Enter your Screen Time Passcode. 4. Tap Allowed Apps. 5. Select the apps that you want to allow. And it is done. How to prevent explicit content and content ratings. You can also prevent the playback of music with explicit content and movies or TV shows with specific ratings. Apps also have ratings that can be configured using content restrictions. To restrict explicit content and content ratings. 1. Go to Settings and tap Screen Time. 2. Tap Content and Privacy Restrictions, then tap Content Restrictions. 3. Choose the settings that you want for each feature or setting under Allowed Store Content. And you are done with the setup. How to prevent web search. 
iOS and iPadOS can automatically filter website content to limit access to adult content in Safari and other apps on your device. You can also add specific websites to an approved or blocked list, where you can limit access to only approved websites. Follow these steps. 1. Go to Settings and tap Screen Time. 2. Tap Content and Privacy Restrictions and enter your Screen Time Passcode. 3. Tap Content Restrictions, then tap Web Content. 4. Choose Unrestricted Access, Limit Adult Websites, or Allowed Websites Only. Depending on the access you allow, you might need to add information, like the website that you want to restrict. Last, but not least, restrict Siri web search. To restrict Siri features. 1. Go to Settings and tap Screen Time. 2. Tap Content and Privacy Restrictions, then tap Content Restrictions. 3. Scroll down to Siri, then choose your settings. You can restrict these Siri features. Web Search Content Prevent Siri from searching the web when you ask a question. Explicit Language Prevent Siri from displaying explicit language. We have done all the setup. Thank you for watching.